This video shows you how to create custom materials in RHVAC. First, let's create a custom floor. Before we create our custom floor, we will first select a floor on this window that closely matches our new custom floor. The type will be 19 over enclosed crawl space or basement. The category will be 19C and a floor that closely matches our new floor is 19C-38SP. Be sure to single click on that floor, not double click it. Now click Create Custom. On the Custom Floor dialog, some of the inputs have already been set to equal that of the floor we selected right before showing this dialog. Our new floor will be type 19 over enclosed crawl space or basement. For the construction code of our custom floor, enter any text you like, but the first character must not be a number. For floors and all other types of materials, when the first character of the construction code is not a number, that tells the program that the material is a custom one that was created by the user. Enter my floor for the construction code. You may determine the U-value for this floor in several ways. One, use the U-factor calculator. Two, get it from a manufacturer or from an online search. Or three, estimate it based on the standard materials. Here's the U-factor calculator program that was included when you installed RHVAC. It's pretty easy to learn and we will cover how to use this program in another video. The custom floor is almost the same as the 19C-38SP floor that we selected, except that it will have R45 blanket instead of R38. So we will estimate the new U value to be 0.025 based on the standard floors. Our custom floor will not be radiant. If the custom floor you're entering is not over a crawl space, you may ignore the crawl space inputs. The crawl space wall U value will stay the same as the standard floor we selected. And our crawl space will also be sealed. Our description will be similar to that of the 19C-38SP floor, except that it will have R45 insulation. Click OK to create the custom floor. And click OK to add our new custom floor to the current room. Our custom floor will remain in our custom material list from now on, so we can select it again whenever we need it. Let's add another instance of My Floor to this room. Click the Custom tab at the top. And select My Floor. Now let's make a custom roof and add it to this room. Again, we will first select a standard roof that is similar to our new roof. The type will be 16. The category will be 16C. Single click on 16C-15, the closest match to our new roof. And now click Create Custom. Our inputs are again initialized with the selected roof's values. We will keep the type at 16 under Attic with Insulation on Attic Floor. Remember that the construction code for custom materials must start with a character that is not a number. We will keep this U value, but you may change it as needed. For the CLTD index, select an item where the type column is the same as your roof's type, 16 for us. We will select index number 3. Select index number 3. Enter a description. Click OK to create the custom roof. And click OK to add our new custom roof to the room. 
Now let's do a custom basement wall. Basement walls are a little different than the other types of walls in that they each include a depth below grade and an above grade U value. Now select the category that closely matches our new wall. And finally, single click on a wall that closely matches our new wall. Click Create Custom. We will keep the type as 15 basement wall. For a basement wall, the construction code must end with a dash followed by the number of feet below grade of the bottom of the wall. Our wall will be 6 feet below grade, so add dash 6 to the end of the construction code. RHVAC will use this value along with the height you enter for the wall to determine how much of the wall is above grade and how much is below grade. The U value of a basement wall is only for the below grade part of the wall and includes the path that goes through the wall and through the soil to the outside air. All walls require a group code, which is a letter from A to K that indicates the thermal mass of the wall. The A walls are the lightest weight and cause a cooling load the quickest, while K walls are the heaviest and take a long time to cause a cooling load. The above grade U value is only used for basement walls and is for just the wall itself. The calculations will use this U value for the above grade part of the wall and the plain U value for the below grade part. Enter a description. Click OK to create our custom basement wall. And click OK to add our new custom basement wall to the current room. Now let's enter a height of 8 feet for this basement wall. Remember that the dash 6 at the end of the construction code specifies that the bottom of the wall is 6 feet below grade. Since our wall will be 8 feet tall, that means 2 feet will be above grade and 6 feet will be below grade. Now let's add a custom window. Custom glass items are typically the most common custom materials that you will need to create since the U-value and solar heat gain coefficient are often already known. Click Create Custom. Our custom glass is a window, not a skylight. Remember that the first character of the construction code may not be a number. As is often the case, we were given the U-value and solar heat gain coefficient of the window, so enter them. The glazing arrangement input lets you specify a number that tells the program how much of an effect any internal shading you also enter for the glass will have in the calculations. Select an option whose description best matches our glass. Enter a description. Click OK to create our new custom window. And click OK to add our new custom window to the current room. Now let's create a custom door. Click Create Custom. Doors are the simplest custom materials to create with just three inputs needed. For the construction code, remember not to start with a number. Click OK to create the custom door. And click OK to add the custom door to the current room. Thanks for watching.